Hey everybody, uh, I haven't done a video in a while, um, <clears throat> and uh, by request, I'm going to be unboxing my copy of uh, Mothership, um, and I think that there was like one tier up, um, and so this is the, the deluxe set, uh, I think there was like one tier up where you came with like dice and a GM screen and things like that, but this is going to include um, the books like um, the, the core book, which is not very big. It's not a very, oh, there is a game screen right there. I lied. I don't see any dice, but um, I do see a, uh, a game, game master screen. So and looks like we've even got some cardboard stand-ins, some uh, some minis. Um, so what is Mothership? Um, Mothership is um, it's sci-fi and it's horror. Uh, I would compare it to if you if you like um, the movies like um, Pandora or uh, Event Horizon, or, or maybe even Alien. Um, it probably, probably I think it does actually draw a lot of inspiration from the Alien franchise. Um, <clears throat> so it is an Alien, you know, it's just like, and maybe a love letter to Alien, but also just a, a survival horror RPG. Um, it, plays very similar to Delta Green, actually. I think like um, it's a percentile system. Um, there is critical failures and critical successes. So a D100, if you have a skill of piloting that's a 35 and then you roll a 22, then that's a critical success, right? And then if you roll a 66, that's a critical failure. So it does have um, sort of like a stress mechanic um, and it has sanity, like uh, like Call of Cthulhu or Delta Green. Um, here's, where, here's the GM screen. Got a lot of stuff on here. This is, I think, um, this is maybe a little bit intimidating looking, but it's actually simplified. Um, this is just a bunch of random stuff like hazard pay, salary, um, you know, uh, got a bunch of like tables and stuff. So, um, but it's, it's simplified, right? It's, um, uh, I would say less complicated than a Call of Cthulhu or Delta Green, and those aren't really that crunchy of systems. And you'll see when you see the actual rule book. Um, looks like we got a poster. Yeah, I think that's just a poster. It's nice. It's <laughs> cool. A little add-on. And then we've got the cardboard standees. Um, I, and oh man, I just, I love the artwork. I absolutely love the artwork. But you can see like these, this, these suits, very, um, very 1977, um, you know, um, alien inspired, right? And then, oh, I would say it is kind of more of like a gritty um, kind of sci-fi, like space trucker, like opposite of something like Star Trek and not S Star Wars either, you know, no space opera, um, but like gritty sort of space trucker type thing. So, okay, here is the player's survival guide. It almost looks like a zine, you know? Um, like, let's see, how many pages is this? Uh, 39 pages. 
So, yeah, I mean, it's like reading a, you know, a comic book. Um, and then here is the Warden's Manual, or, you know, the Game Master. All right, let's see how many pages this is. 59 pages. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, you know, that says a lot right there, right? If, if your whole rule book for the Game Master is 59 pages, and they do say, you know, they, they do say, hey, read this first. Read the Player's Handbook first, and then read the Warden's Manual. Um, like, if, you're, if your combined rule book is this thick, then that's, that's not a crunchy game, right? That's not a really crunchy rule system. That's a pretty streamlined rule system. Um, Shipbreakers Toolkit. Looks like we've got cargo uh, ships. Um, oh my god, I love this artwork. I just love it. It does It does remind me of like um, some of the kind of like 90s um, uh, like comics, like sci-fi manga, you know, and like comics that I used to read when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love the artwork. Um, and then some, you know, we've got, we've got some, some other books in here. Like, um, this is a, an, an adventure. Um, this is the, uh, uh, another bug hunt, which is, you know, more than likely very alien inspired. Um, the one that, one that I was like super excited to get my hot little hands on is this one though, Pound of Flesh. So, um, Pound of Flesh is, uh, it's about a space station and, um, you know, here you can see the, the kind of the layout of the, the space station. Um, and uh, there's a, a lot that is going on inside of this space station. There's all kinds of like gangs. There is like all kinds of corruption going on. Um, and uh, just, uh, you know, I don't want to put too many spoilers in here. But it's, you know, it is like survival horror, but it's also kind of like sandboxy um, in that, um, you know, you have a, uh, a whole, a whole space station and your, your players need to sort of like assess out everything that's going on in the, in the station. And, and it also has stuff for creating your own, um, space station. And uh, yeah, here we've got another um, adventure. And um, so let's just let's just crack open the um, the player's guide, right? Um, <clears throat> so here is the the character sheet, right? And you you know you might notice oh like you said it was like. Um, it was like Call of Cthulhu, or you know, like you 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 do have your skills, right? You are gonna have all of your um, space trucker kind of like, or um, um, I'm the science officer, or I'm the robotics guy, or um, I'm the uh, the xenobiologist, you know, or or what have you, right? Um, so you know you or or if you're an android. Um, <clears throat> I would say that Teamster is kind of, I don't know if they fix this, but Teamster is kind of like the broken class. And then surprisingly, combat marines are just kind of not very effective. <laughs> um, I could, I could get into it, like some of the problems that we ran into when we were playing. Um, but yeah, so... It is, you know, it is a it is a percentile system. You do have your sanity, your fear, your body. Um, you're gonna have your strength, speed, intellect, and combat, 
and then um, your uh, like your piloting checks, speed is going to be your like dexterity kind of stat. Your um, psychology checks, uh, intellect is going to be your um, wh uh, what do you call it? Um, your your base stat, right? And then your um, you're going to have your the things that are trained, right? Your trained skills, you get a plus 10. So if we, this person is a botanist, so that's going to be intellect. So they're going to have, they have that trained. Um, so that's going to be a plus 10. So it's going to be like a 42 for, uh, for their botany checks or like expert skills, 15% bonus and master skills, 20% bonus, right? So if, if they were a master, master botanist, <laughs> that didn't come out right. Um, if they're a master botanist, then it's going to be like a 52, you know? Um, <clears throat> so it does, it, it comes with like, and you know, you can see again, like this very alien inspired um, does come with like different kinds of loadouts for typical type of stuff that a teamster might carry on them, like a vac suit, a, um, a revolver, a crowbar, flashlight, things like that. And then um, you might have uh, like some uh, trinkets, um, stuff like that, where uh, say that your character has a, a, a miniature chess set, right? That they like to carry, they like to play chess, and then they um, they could have some downtime, and then they, you know, get to play a chess with one of the other crew members, and then it sort of brings some of their stress down, and uh, maybe restores a little bit of sanity or something like that, All right? And oh man, just, again, like I just love this artwork; it's just gorgeous, so cool. So I didn't see any dice or anything like that in here, and I don't, I don't typically do, you know, if they, if something does come with dice, um, I typically don't do that because I just have so many damn dice. Oh, there they are. They're right there. <laughs> so, okay. So it is a percentile system. Um, so you're going to have your 2d10s, right? And then I forget why there's two colors. Um, I, I want to say that maybe it's disadvantage, advantage, some kind of mechanic like that. The 20 sided dice does come into play. The 20 sided dice is a, um, it has to do with like a, um, a save where like you, you have a temporary kind of like a, a panic kind of situation or um, there is some kind of like cascading failure stuff that is sort of built into the system um, with the like stress mechanics and stuff like that where things can just sort of go to hell in a handbasket when somebody starts freaking out and then everybody else starts freaking out. Um, but the 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 d20 does come into play but for the most part you know all, all pretty much all of your your checks and the uh, almost all of the gameplay stuff is going to be your 2d10s so um let's see is this is this a bestiary oh yeah it does it, it is <laughs> uh want to have a look at this the uh, Eldana is four wing tipped with razor sharp talons, flat black, smooth angular, can see in the dark. Okay, this reminds me of um, uh, what, what am I thinking of? The like pitch black, like the Vin Diesel movie, you know, like Chronicles of Riddick, that kind of thing. Um, do we have? Uh, do we have stat blocks in here? 
I'm not seeing stat blocks. Um, but you know, we got we got a lot of um, a lot of inspiration for weird kind of crap to throw at your players uh, in space. <laughs> So I'm not seeing any stat blocks. That's too bad. Well, um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Um, short and sweet. And um, yeah, like, you know, if you do, if you, um, I will say that I waited a long time for this. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, they were talking about how the, um, they were getting things done with the printers and uh, like it had to get the layout looking just right. And it looks like a zine, you know, and like the um, the illustrations are black and white for the most part, at least. So I wouldn't say that I'm disappointed. I just it, um, as far as it's one of those things where you order or you you back something on Kickstarter and it just takes forever to finally show up. And I wouldn't say that I'm disappointed. I don't have a problem with zines or like indie, you know, kind of like RPG stuff. Um, I would just say that as for as much as they talked about getting the layout right and having problems with the printers and stuff, um, I'm a little bit under underwhelmed, but I'm happy. I'm really happy to finally have it I played it before. We did actually, um, uh, we did actually get all of the PDFs and stuff like that a long time ago. And you can, you know, you can go on um, and onto like Drive Through RPG or what have you and get all of the PDFs and stuff like that. It's just you know getting your hot little hands on the books, the actual books. That's the that's the hard part. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we've, we've actually, you know, we've had the PDS for a long time. It just took forever to get the physical thing shipped. Um, so I have talked to people in, uh, Canada who say that they have shipping, like that things are shipping. Um, but you know, um, I'm in, uh, Colorado. <laughs> so I, you know, I, I got, and here it is, I have it. Um, so I think yours will be here soon and then it probably you're up next. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching and take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.